Welcome back to Four Weeks of Famous Philosophers with Carnades.org. Today we are going to be continuing this series looking at Benedict de Spinoza, prophet of pantheism, one of the three great modern rationalists, and the prince of philosophers. Now, Benedict de Spinoza, known alternatively as Baruch Spinoza in Hebrew, was born in 1632. All of his names mean blessed Spinoza. During his life, Spinoza reimagined God, not as a personified entity as described in the Bible or the Torah, but rather as the substance that made up the world. Though a rationalist, he challenged Descartes' substance dualism, arguing that everything was made, in fact, of one substance, and that substance was God. Though his rigorous works are highly regarded, Gilles Deleuze called him the prince of philosophers, Spinoza is often glossed over or skipped in studies of the rationalists for the other two major rationalists of the period, Descartes and Leibniz, who we have looked at and will look at soon. Now, Spinoza was born in a Jewish-Portuguese community in Holland. He grew up studying the Jewish faith though his radical ideas of God would eventually leave him excommunicated from the Jewish community in Amsterdam. Though given the opportunity to teach at a university later in life, he lived out his life as a simple lens grinder, spending his free time perfecting his philosophy. Spinoza pioneered a position in philosophy that would later come to be known as pantheism in his book Ethics. He argued that God was not some personified being that cared what you did or sent you to heaven or hell. For Spinoza, God was simply the substance that made up everything. In order to understand the will of God, we should not study the scriptures, rather we should study nature and the natural world. To understand good and evil, we should not look at things from our own limited perspective, what is good for us, but rather from a global perspective, or as Spinoza would say, from the view of eternity. Now, Spinoza's argument for a pantheistic God was actually quite simple. It might be summarized as follows. And note, this isn't an argument for the existence of God in the same way an ontological or cosmological argument would be, but rather an argument for someone that already believes in God to come to the conclusion that that God is not some personified judgmental being, but rather a pantheistic God that exists in everything. So here's a simple version of his argument. For a substance to exist, it must have at least one property. If two things share a property, they must be the same substance. God exists and has all properties. And so God shares properties with everything that exists. And therefore, God must be the same substance as everything that exists. Because everything that exists has at least one property. So that thing must share that property with God, because God has all of the properties, and so God is identical to everything that exists, because if two things share a property, they are the same substance. In his time, Spinoza was denounced as a heretic and an atheist by Christians and Jews alike. However, his philosophy did not so much represent a critique of God himself, but rather an objection to the conception of God put forward by holy texts, and modern religion. Influenced by the Stoics and Seneca in particular, Spinoza championed a life free from that kind of religious guilt that one might feel for needing to obey certain rules set down in a holy text, and he claimed that the purpose was not to believe blindly, but rather to investigate the world and use reason to discover God's true purpose. Because if God is the world, the best way to understand God is to understand the world and do science and these rational inquiries. Therefore, I give you Benedict de Spinoza, prophet of pantheism, one of the three great modern rationalists, and the prince of philosophers. Next up, we're going to be looking at our third great rationalist, Gottfried Wilhelm von Leibniz. 
Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and stay tuned every single day this month for a new video on a new famous philosopher. Stay skeptical, everybody.